single stone dropped into a pond can cause ripples that would expand throughout the entire pond. It shows how a fraction of a system can influence the entire system. A single element of change can have a long-lasting effect. This ripple effect best describes the story behind the Pullman Palace. Hi, I'm Michael Watts. Join me as we explore the origin of the Pullman Palace, the birth of one of the most influential African-American figures, the Pullman Porter, and the ripples it caused that changed history. All aboard! In 1836, the world's first sleeping car was introduced. These so-called sleeping cars consisted of bunk beds of three, cast iron platforms with no sheets. Passengers had to sit on narrow, stiff seats. It was impossible to get any sleep in these cars. Before the Civil War, people did not uh, travel overnight by train. They typically uh, would do day trips. Uh, if they had to go overnight, they'd be just sitting up in a wood, wood bench seat. 20 years later, an overnight train ride from Buffalo to Westfield, New York, inspires a man to make improvements on the sleeping car that revolutionizes cross-country traveling. The mastermind behind this movement was none other than George Pullman. The Pullman car, of course, gets its name from George M. Pullman. George Pullman had a better idea in transportation in the 19th century. After experiencing the very difficult means of traveling overnight in a rough coach uh, seat, he decided to find a better way. George Pullman established the Pullman Palace Car Company, which built and operated a fleet of first-class passenger cars with great attention to detail. It was known as a hotel on wheels. The passengers could entertain themselves in social activities in the lounge car, eat their meals in the dining car, and sleep comfortably in the sleeping car. The Pullman Palace became the most profitable sleeping car business of its time. What we have now in City of Lima is an example of this long distance comfortable travel circa 1950. City of Lima is the Erie Lackawanna Dining Car Preservation Society's Pullman sleeping car. This car was used on the Lackawanna and then later Erie Lackawanna's passenger trains. A passenger who was traveling on an overnight trip, such as say from Scranton to Chicago, would not have to sit and get uncomfortable in a coach seat. They'd be able to have either a roomette for a single person occupancy or a full bedroom with bunk beds in most cases that uh, was allowed a lot more comfortable travel, a lot more civilized travel than uh, you could expect in a coach. The Ohio River, uh, which is owned by the Morristown and Erie Railroad, is probably the finest example of a replica heavyweight business car. This is exactly as it would have been in the 1920s and 30s for a railroad president or a railroad official. This was his home away from home as well as his office was not so much arriving at the destination, but it was the mode of travel, it was how you got there, it was the style in which you arrived. The Pullman Palace was truly fit for a king. The customer service offered on the train was unlike any other. Hence their slogan, travel and sleep and the Pullman safety and comfort. 